When you think of cultural competency, it's not just about race or ethnicity. It is about all people, all groups. It's respect, it's learning to understand, listening, seeking to know all types of people. That helps us as educators be more attuned to learners' needs. One of the biggest misconceptions about cultural competency and cultural competency committees at large is that we serve the duties of the district compliance officer. We do not investigate or handle civil rights matters. We are a committee that addresses and looks at different policies, practices, and procedures of the district when it comes to awareness of serving our students. When you think of cultural competency, you immediately think of of a black white issue or race or ethnicity. And really it is much more than that. It, it is transportation, it is finance, it is economics, and it is goes down to the individual student or individual family member and how as we as Raytown School District employees can better serve our students at our schools. It goes back to the individual learners and understanding who they are where they come from, then if we can have a deeper understanding of who they are, then we are better able to equip ourselves for educators within that classroom structure to provide them the learning that they need, understanding the various aspects of where students come from. It's important that we understand what culturally relevant practices do to aid in shaping the students we serve. This is not a committee that's about certified labels or classified labels. This is a committee that's about a unified group of people coming together to effectively serve the needs of the students that cross our paths every day. One of the main focuses of the committee is everyone who works for the district. Our main focus and one of our main focus goals is you. What is it that we can do as a committee that helps you to be better at your job in understanding the needs of others and to help make you aware of the needs of the children that we serve? The team established its mission and vision statement over a period of time. It was, I believe, over a year period of a committee, a district-wide committee meeting multiple times during the course of a calendar year and really focused on what is it, big picture, that we can do to serve the school district? And that mission and vision philosophy provides an overarching framework for then at the building level, each building having their own committee as well. One of the main benefits that our parents, students, and staff will see from this committee is that we're serving to work together collectively to serve their needs and look at their total well-being and how we can be effective in helping them to have a great educational experience while they're here in the Raytown School District. I think students, parents, and patrons will see from the committee is a collective, united effort from, from classroom teacher to top and everyone in between from the Raytown School District of our effort to be more attuned to individual learners' needs through understanding their stories, their experiences, through a lens of cultural competency.